Well, hello everyone. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, this is gonna be a collective reading. Um, I'm gonna entitle it, If You Love Me, Why Didn't You Say So? Okay, so we're gonna find out what the issues are in this reading. And then at the end, I'm gonna pull a card for each sign, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just pull, I'm going to have two different decks here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull from this deck first, and then we'll get into the reading. Let's go ahead and see what we have. First card I have is the Four of Cups. So I do feel like this person, they fail to recognize um, their feelings too late. So here with the Four of Cups, you can kind of see that the person is, you know, kind of sitting back they're thinking about it it's like spirit even at this point is trying to get this person to make a move um but i think that they may have failed to realize it after the situation was done and over with you guys had already most likely stopped talking that type of thing um i believe that this person most likely had feelings for you anyway you know before you walked away but i just don't think that they expressed it so I do feel that right now they're wondering, you know, if they come back in, if you would um, even um, entertain their offer. Yeah, he, yeah. here with the Three of Cups, I'm seeing that there is going to be a reuniting. However, I just feel like this person, you know, um, is lacking something within themselves. It's so funny because the Four of Cups does talk about discontentment and boredom. But not only that, discontentment, discontentment and what? With themselves. Maybe it's some growing that, that they need to do. Um, the Three of Cups is very much so, you know, self-love first, okay? This is just kind of how I'm reading it now. Um, being fulfilled first. And that's how you're going to be able to expand that to other people. You know, because I think it's a quote that says, a empty cup cannot quench anyone else's thirst. So I really do feel that way, um, that you kind of surprised them. I don't think that they realized the love that they had for you or the, the um, yeah, I would say the love that they had for you, but I feel like it was just at the last minute. It was already over and done with at that point. So here with the Eight of Pentacles, I do feel like this is going to be a time for you guys to work on yourself. However, this is what's so interesting about this reading. With the Eight of Pentacles, I really do feel that even though you weren't able, they weren't able, or you guys weren't able to really ground a committed relationship, there's going to, especially if you're single, there's going to be so many different people coming in. It's going to be like bee, a honey to a beehive or a beehive to honey or whatever. <laughs> Um, you guys are going to be attracting all this love in your life, okay? So even though this person didn't express it, I feel like you guys are working on yourself. You're focusing on you. Um, and they see that aspect about who you are. And I think that they really do love that about you. Yeah, here with the two of wands, I feel like some of you guys are dealing with someone who has depression or some type of sadness. Um, it runs really deep. Their feelings, what's going on with them is running really deep, okay? But I do feel that the person is going to come back in here. Yeah, I see reuniting a lot in your reading here. Um, and part of the Two of Wands does talk about long term. You know, they're thinking long term as a partnership. Part of the Two of Wands is partnership here. You can kind of see it if you guys, yeah, taking the next step here, okay, together, all right? So I, I definitely see that this person um, is coming in. They, they're they very romantic even. I see a lot of the people that you guys were dealing with, is they're very romantic um, individuals. Yeah, and this person is going to take a leap of faith. Now, I do feel like maybe some of you guys may have mixed emotions about this person um, just because you're not sure. Like you, you want to be able to just dive straight into the connection when they do, but you're, you're, you're frightened. You're afraid that they're going to leave you hanging again. Well, guess what? This person is feeling the exact same way. This person is feeling like, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I should throw my all into this. I, I don't know. Cause remember, like I said, it's something within them that they have to feel first. I feel like they'll come in here with you before they're really fully, um, where they need to be in life. I just don't think that they're going to be where they need to be when they enter. However, I do feel like there's so much love and so much emotions that they have for you. And I love the fact that here with the, the full card, it talks about a fresh new start, but it's also working towards it. Cause here at the eight of Pentacles, even if they don't know, have all the answers or know how all of it can work out, it's something that you and them 
can build together here with the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So it's a lot of reasons why this person didn't really tell you or express to you why they love you. It was truly just because they had the inability. I just don't think that they knew how. So we're gonna go ahead and get some more cards here. Let's get some more cards. You know what, let's go ahead and use, I'm gonna use the small deck here. Yeah, I feel like there's a huge flame in both you guys' hearts here with this devil card. I feel like there's a lot of codependency as far as how you're thinking about each other. This person is thinking about you a lot. They really are. I feel like they have a lot of regrets. And like I said, they failed to recognize it when it was around. And like, unfortunately, right now, yeah, we see it again, even here with the Four of Cups. Um, I just feel like now they know they have to make the big decision but they really feel like left out. I think that you guys really are not paying attention to them or they think that you're not paying attention to them. And that's really bringing them down as well. I also feel like this person may drink a little bit too much. They do have escapism. I feel that in their energy as well. Yeah, but this person is going to come in here. I see it. We see it with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. But the Page of Cups, though, even though that you're going to be very excited about it, um, I still feel like this is going to be slow because like I said, part of that Eight of Pentacles talks about you guys are going to have to work on this. So this is not going to be something that's going to, you know, be on the ground and just going to pop straight up. No, it's going to take a second for this person to realize it. Here with the Eight of Swords, um, I do feel like this person is overthinking. Now with this Eight of Swords and that Devil card, overthinking, negative thinking, plain and simple, Okay. For some of you, I do see that this person may be dealing with other people as a way to forget you. Um, and they may have actually gotten themselves stuck in a connection that they feel like they can't get out of. Ugh, yeah, um, I do feel like for some of you, this person was um, either married or gotten married. OK, um, this person made some very rash deci decisions. Wow. Like. I really do see that. For some of you, you didn't even know that you were a secret person. And this person was just lonely and unhappy and they were looking for excitement and they got caught up. That's what I'm looking at here. Oh, I didn't think that I was going to see that in this reading and it kind of turned that way. Yeah, some, for some of you, this person is in an unhappy connection. If for I really do see it's like a long-term connection. For some of them, they're married, okay? I really do see that they messed up here. Oh, yeah, they can't stop thinking about you. Seven of Pentacles. This person is almost feeling lifeless in a way now. Yeah, heartbroken. Hmm. I do see this person, like I said, <clears throat> will be coming in here. But my thing is, is that um, this is for this is not for those who are in dealing with someone who's married. I just saw that. Like, I'm like, oh, wait a bit. Let me just make sure I say that message for you guys, because unfortunately, a lot of you guys were dealing with someone who was in a long term committed relationship and they were just unhappy looking for something to do. OK, I'm just going to tell you. And it's, it's very unfortunate because they're not going to leave. They're going to just suffer through it. OK. And part of that chariot card is like you being able to move forward. You have options as well, okay? But for others, this person is going to try to come back in and win you over. That's what I'm saying. And when you guys do come together, this person is going to, there's going to be conversations about, you know, marriage and moving in together. But I will warn you, please be very careful about how you approach that conversation because this person is very, is a page, okay? <laughs> They're, I feel like they'll grow, um, but they get frightened very easily with strong conversation talk, okay? I love it here with this um, lover's card because you guys do have options. But like I said, I feel like they are in a dead-end relationships. You know, they really are. Um, I don't see, if, if you guys are dealing with someone who's married and they're not going to leave, um, I, that that's not going to go anywhere. I feel like it's going to cause you to be very disappointed. Exactly. And for you to walk away. Okay. Um, and it's, it, it's like they wanted you, you know, cause part of the five of swords is like, 
you know, or do you want to fight for this or, or are you just playing games with me? And if I have a source, it's like, no, I'm just going to walk away because everyone has their own personal constitution. And that's what I always say. You're not going to be a part of a love triangle. And for some of you, this is a love triangle, but your person got caught up. They didn't realize that they were going to start have feelings for you. And for others, the person is free. But they were just dealing with other people just because they didn't want to feel those type of feelings. But they feel absolutely regretful and feel like crap right now. Okay, there's a lot of sadness in this reading. When you think about it, it first started off with the Four of Cups. And then it started again with the, the Four of Cups again. Then we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups and the Five of Cups. This person is tormented. Okay, so what we're going to do is just go straight into um, the signs. Each sign is going to have a message here. We're going to see what the message is here for you guys. I do have a message of the heart too. I'm going to use this one. Let me see. I'll use this death. It's kind of slippery. So I'm going to use a tarot and I'm going to also use a um, oracle. So I want to start with Aries. First, I want to do it by element just because it's easier that way and I won't forget where I stop. So I want to start with the fire, the fire signs and then get to the air signs and then the earth and water. Okay. Or however it'll go. Okay. All right. So this is going to be for Aries. This is for Aries, please. So why didn't this person tell you that they love you even though they didn't? Like I said, we see some issues here, but let's see what your person is thinking. Yeah, Aries, your person is depressed here with the five of cups. They're very much regretful over it, but they know they're toxic. Here it says they're toxic friendships and people that they're around are coming between you and your person. So they have a lot of toxic traits, toxic energy, that type of thing. I'm going to put this back because that could actually be another car for someone else. So from what I'm saying, um, yeah, someone is ex Aries, your person is extremely disappointed, but they're really toxic as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get Leo, Leo. Let's get Leo's card here. So I feel like someone is turning cold in a relationship here. Ooh, someone from your past, I feel something has grown cold. So I feel like someone that you guys were talking to in the past, uh, they're, they're still thinking about you. It's that type of thing. Um, but I feel like, you you know, it, it may not even work. Um, this person feels that you're pulling away um, and the connection does really feel like it's dying. Okay. And that's what's really scaring them as well. Let's go ahead. We're going to get um, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please. So a lot of you guys are going through some type of karmic cycle here. And it says they are clearing um, negative ancestral karma. So you guys are dealing with someone who has a lot of struggles in life as well. But I really do see that here. They're going to be messaging you. Um, I feel like they're going to be talking to you here with the eight of wands. So it is, I feel like it's, this is more so like a journey that they had to go through. Uh, for a lot of you, I do feel like this person has a lot of love for you, but they have a lot of karma that they're going to have to clear out. Let's go ahead. Let's get to the air signs. We're going to start with Aquarius. This is for Aquarius. Aquarius. So right now you're in separation with your person. It says they're focusing on their own personal journey, okay? And then, of course, we kind of saw that here. I think I talked about that, how this person needed to focus on themselves and how they need to love themselves. So very interesting that it came out in your reading. Let's see. Let's get a tarot. Yeah, here with the it's separation, it's causing a lot of anxiety with your person. They hate it. They hate it right now. And I feel like with you guys, the, the separation has caused a lot of anxiety with you. But this is your person. This is what they're feeling. They hate the fact that they're not talking to you and that you guys are not together at the moment. Okay. This is going to be for Gemini. This is going to be for Gemini. This is going to be for Gemini. <clears throat> See what we got for Gemini. 
Gemini stuck in the loop. So someone is, man, I'm just going to read it. It says a pattern has become familiar to them. So it's like the person is in love with you. But again, that's kind of the four, four of cups energy. They, you know, they failed to recognize the opportunity when it happened. And it was just because they were so used to doing things over and over again. Very, very sad situation. Um, but there's some depression or sadness that's even in them. They feel kind of closed in. They're pretending to be something that they're not. Yeah, I really do see here even with the high priestess, you guys are not talking. Um, they're keeping a lot in. If you look at this, they're keeping a lot in. Um, your person really is going through some type of mental turmoil inside a lot of conflict here. So I really feel their energy here, Gemini. Um, and it's kind of up in the air. They don't know what to do. Part of what they're doing is trying to forget you and it's not working. It's not working, Gemini. Let's go ahead. Let's get to Libra. Let's get to Libra. This is going to be for Libra. This is going to be for Libra. Libra. Thank you. Libra. Message here. Divine truth. It says we are helping this connection evolve. Wow. So I feel like right now the universe is like, hey, hold on, Libra. Let me handle this. I got this. Let me handle it. Okay. <laughs> That's really good to see. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Here with the world card. Now I'm going to tell you, this talks about what has already happened or occurred for the time being. Let it go. Live your life. Allow things to happen the way it needs to happen. Right now there has been a pause. So just allow that to here with divine truth, the, the universe got your back on this one. I mean, this is a victory. The sword is pointing towards the air. So it's nothing that you guys have to worry about. I feel like this person is working on themselves. Okay. Just like we talked about, but the universe definitely has your back here. Let's go ahead. Let's get into the water signs. Let's get into the water signs. This is going to be for Pisces. This is going to be for Pisces. For Pisces. Okay, what we got for Pisces? Here, Pisces, mysterious one. It says, the mystery of you intrigued them. So Pisces, you guys, there's something very sexy about you, very intriguing. This person thinks you are very good looking, but you don't open up. Like you kind of close, tight-lipped, and they love that about you, okay? So right now, I really do feel like um, this is a very single kind of card. Um, I feel like they this, this sense of freedom from you that they love it, it, it really is that queen of wands energy, this very sexiness, this freeness that really draws them. <clears throat> Another reason why they didn't really want to tell you that they were in love with you because they were afraid that you were going to like look down on them or something. I don't know how to really describe it, but they really do feel that way. Like they really do feel like, um, you will think weird about them. Like, Oh, you're weird for loving me type of thing. Okay. <laughs> Um, here with the Queen of Swords. I, so I really do feel like this person does have a very strong attachment to you, but they also feel like you're feisty. So the person didn't tell you because they felt like you were going to go off or be a little judgmental. Okay. I, that's kind of what I was seeing, even with that mysterious one. They feel like you'll be a little judgmental and you're not a, a Virgo, but that's kind of how they felt. You stress them out here, but they think very highly of you. Well, let's go ahead and let's get to Scorpio. Let's get to Scorpio, Scorpio here. Let's get to Scorpio. Scorpio, gossip. So someone is talking about you, so they can't stop talking about you here. It says there's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that's affecting um, not only their judgment, but their vision. So I feel like um, in your situation, there's there's other people talking that's keeping them out of this connection. I don't know. It could be friends. It could be something like that. Very strange card to get, but it's so funny. They're not listening. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So here with the Knight of Cups, I see that this person is coming in here. Like they're not listening. I feel like this could be another person as well. Like you know, all up in their ear, trying to get your person to stay on their side, that type of thing. But, and they know that they, that they like you is that type of thing, but your person is coming in here. I, it's weird. The gossip part was a little weird. Let me see if I can grab another one. 
Um, and this also <clears throat> could be someone is very immature here with children. I just want to pull that because I wasn't really sure. I'm like, let me just pull another one. Anyway, let's go ahead. Let's get to cancer. Let's get to cancer here. Let's get to cancer. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they're not listening though. I'll tell you that. This is for a cancer. <clears throat> Cancer at last. Whoa, it's like you guys have been waiting for a very long time. You and them. It says they don't want to give up on you now because they come too far. So this person definitely don't want to give up on you. And yeah, here with the King of Wands, they're definitely going to take action in your direction. This person is very attractive. They can have their own business, that type of thing. People look up to them. So yeah, this is... That's actually really good. Your person has been waiting for a while and this is how they're going to embrace you. Okay, so really good, Cancer. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get to the Earth signs. We're going to start with Capricorn. We're going to get to Capricorn with the Earth signs. Capricorn, please. Thank you, Capricorn. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa, Capricorn, I have marriage. Hey, <laughs> so this person, you know, really has love for you. They didn't open up because, you know, like I said, for some of you, this person could be married. I have to say that. And for others, I just feel like they knew that you were the marriage, mat marriage material and it really scared the hell out of them. Okay. Um, and that part of that eight of pentacles is what we saw is slowly building, building something with you. They see you as marriage material, material, someone that inspires them. Okay. Let's go ahead and see. Look at this. Listen, spirit be on it. Okay, so you guys, you guys got marriage coming up here. Okay, Capricorn. Let's go ahead. Let's get to Virgo. <laughs> this is going to be for Virgo. So, so far, Capricorn had the best one. Um, all, of, all of them are pretty good, pretty good, but Capricorn had the best one. All right, let's get to Virgo. This is going to be for Virgo. Okay, wow, Virgo, all these cards coming out. Out, out of all the ones I've done, this has never happened. So I feel like your person is, there's some nervous energy with your person. Let's get it. This is for Virgo. What's going on? Some of you guys feel like your life is falling apart. Like things are just not happening the way you want to. The cards just fell everywhere. So Virgo, I have lack of faith. So yeah, some of you guys are losing faith in your situation or, you know, if it's going to happen, I'm just going to read it. It says, leaving you out in the cold has been one of their biggest regrets, which has made them lose hope in this situation. You're losing hope and they're losing hope because you still kind of see a snowflake. It was kind of like, I think, what was that, Gemini, where it was very cold. The situation was cold. It's kind of the same way. They have huge regrets. But wow, here with the Ace of Wands, I feel like they're going to be taking action towards you um, here with the Ace of Wands. I don't think that they want this situation to grow cold here, Virgo. So really good. Wow. Okay. So the last one is going to be Taurus. All right. Taurus is a big bad wolf here. Taurus has been having the best readings for the past month and a half. So let's see what we have for Taurus. Why didn't your person say that they love you? Let's get Taurus. Let's get this for Taurus, please. Last one is for Taurus. Wow, this came out. I'll, I'll use it because that popped over perfectly on the table. All right. So I'm going to show you what came out first. This one says they fear your wrath. Oh, wow. I think some of you guys got your at your tongue, your 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 um, snap snapback game is strong. OK, they said they fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half hearted effort. OK. Let's get the next one. Here it says haunted. This person cannot stop thinking about you. And this is what your readings have been about. It says their vivid dreams haunt them. It says they dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with, with someone else. I told you in your readings before that this person is going to be afraid that you're going to move on. And for a lot of you, you will. But I feel like they're going to come back in here. Let's get to the tarot. Oh my God. Look at Look at this. Your person is freaking out here with the nine of swords. I got two. And then four of cups. Your reading is, this is probably pretty much your reading here. I'm not going to pull any more because it wouldn't be fair. But right now, we already know with your with your general readings that, you know, you guys are going into a beautiful love connection. But man, I topped it off with this. This is exactly what the read was about. 
Um, I feel like they feel like it's over with. They're depressed. They're sad. They don't know what to do and they're stressing out. This is all over you, Taurus. So this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this. I never do this. So I was like, oh my God, okay. I don't know how this is going to work. But I'm going to be doing more like this um, more often, okay, and even more reads. That's not necessarily a collective, but I mean, like this, but it'll be a different way. But I, I thank you guys for putting up with me, okay? Um, again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and um, I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.